Okay, so number 41 is uh, exactly like number 40. It's the same type of problem. It's a break-even problem. So I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker. If you have questions on how to do this, how I did this, go back to um, the page 4 video and watch that last one uh, for more details. I'm going to go kind of quick here. So my expenses are 280 plus 399T and my income is 1099T. I'm going to get my T's together. So 280 equals 7T divided by 7, and you get T equals 40. So that's 40 T-shirts that we need to sell to break even. Okay. 42 and 43, graphing linear inequalities. Notice inequalities, you should be shading these. If it's not shaded, you're not doing it right. Uh, but to do that, you need to get it in uh, slope-intercept form, which is what the directions say. To get it in slope-intercept form, I need to subtract 4x, so I'll have negative 6y is greater than or equal to negative 4x plus 18, divide by negative 6, and when I divide by negative, that flips the inequality sign, so it's y is less than or equal to, negative 4 divided by negative 6 is positive 2 thirds reduced, and then 18 divided by negative 6 is negative 3, so there's slope intercept form, now I just need to graph it, I go down to 3, I go up two, right three. I'm going to do that again so I can get a nice line. Again, down two, left three, same thing. Okay, and now I need to remember it's not just shading, but solid versus dotted. Now this is equal to, so this is just a solid line, which is normal. And then it's, since it's in slope intercept form, I can use the sign to help me. Less than, which is what this is, means shade below the line. So I'm shading below this line. And a way to check that, pick a point, either that's in the solution or that's not. If I pick a point in the solution, I'll plug in and it should be greater than 18. Should be. So I'll, actually, I'll do that real quick. The point 80 is in that solution. It's in the shaded region. 80, x go, 8 goes in for x. 4 times 8 is 32. 0 goes in for y. So 32 minus 0 is 32, which is bigger than 18. It works. A point that a lot of people choose is 0, 0. If I take 0, 0 to put it in, According to my graph, it shouldn't work because it's not in the solution set. 0 minus 0 is 0, which is not greater than 18. Not true, so that's good. We didn't want it to be working. Okay, 43, I need to get y by itself. Now, it's a little bit weird because y is first, x is second. Do that on purpose. I want you to see that you get y by itself. It doesn't really matter where it's at. So I'm going to add 6x. So I have negative 4y. Oops, negative 4y is greater than 6x plus 8 divided by negative 4. There it is again, divided by negative. That flips the sign. 6 divided by negative 4 is negative 3 over 2. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to go down to 2. And then I'm going to go down 3, right 2. Down 3, right 2. Up 3, left 2. Now this line is is not equal to, so it's going to be a dotted line. That's one thing you got to remember to do. A lot of people forget. It is a dotted line. And what that means is a point on the line is not a solution. So all those plot, plotted points I just did, those are not solutions to my equation. All the points I plotted here are because they are equal to this. These are not equal to. Sign helps us again. Shade below the line. So I'm going to shade over here. If you want to check it, I'm going to take 0, 0, plug it in. It should not work. 0 minus 0 is 0. Is 0 greater than 8? No, it's not. Good. That's what we wanted. Uh, 44 through 51 are all exponent rules. These are going to go kind of quick. Uh, if you remember, you cannot have a negative exponent in your final answer. So I need to move them. Right now they're on top. They need to go to the bottom. So 2 is not happy on top, so it's going to go to the bottom. It becomes 2 to the third. X is fine where it's at, so I'm going to leave it up there. Z needs to move to the bottom and become Z to the positive seventh. One thing I need to do, need to do now, 2 to the third is a small enough number to write, so it's 8Z to the seventh. Okay, anything to the zero power is 1. So the zero is only with the 9, so that becomes 1 times Y to the seventh times T to the negative eleventh. So basically, this just goes away. T to the negative 11th needs to move. 
y is fine, so it's going to be y to the seventh on top, t to the eleventh on the bottom. Okay, it's 46. The bases are the same, 2 to the 6th and 2 to the 4th. When the bases are the same, you just add the exponent, so it's going to be 2 to the 10th. The base, notice the base did not change. So 47 is a very, another example of that. 6, 6 plus negative 2, so 4 plus 5, 6 to the 9th, done. Uh, now this one has c squared to the 5th. That's two exponents on the c. So what I need to do is, or think about it is, there are five c squareds. So c squared, c squared, c squared, c squared, and c squared. So now I just made that look like 46 and 47. Now I just add those all up. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's 2 times 5. That's my shortcut. Just do 2 times 5. You get c to the 10th. 49, n to the 32nd. Division. Um, that's 12 c's on top, 15 c's on the bottom. Where are there more C's? Well, there's more C's in the bottom. How many more? There's three more C's in the bottom, so when they all cancel out, there's going to be no C's left on top. Can't put a zero because that would make the whole thing zero. So there's one on top divided by C to the third. That's it. Now there's two things that are not happy here, so I'm going to make them happy. I'm going to make the two go to the bottom, it becomes happy. The M on the bottom is not happy, so it goes to the top comes m to the fifth. Where are there more m's on top? How many more? Three. Um, it, you could put it over one, but you don't have to. It's just m to the third here. The only time the one is necessary is when it's on top. 52. Write it, each polynomial in standard form. Okay, so standard form just means you need to combine like terms, and they have to go in order from biggest exponent down to smallest. I have like terms here. 9x squared minus 11x squared. When I'm combining those, it's just you take the coefficients and you add or subtract them. In this case, it's subtract. 9 minus 11 is negative 2. x squared, the exponent does not change on that. It's like I'm saying I have 9x squareds and I take away 11x squareds. I have negative 2x squareds left. No other like terms with 5x and no other terms with negative 5. Um, on the answer key, if you checked it already, um, I put the name. It's got an exponent of 2, it's quadratic. It's got, and it's got one, two, three terms, so it's a quadratic trinomial. Not a part of the directions, but that's just extra. Okay, y minus 7y to the third plus 15y to the eighth. There are no like terms. No exponents are the same, so I don't need to combine any like terms here, but they are not in order. i got to have the biggest exponent first, so that's 15y to the eighth. has to be written first. 7y to the third needs to be written second. But you have to include the sign that's in front of it. So negative 7y to the third. The last one should be the y, and the y is positive, so it's plus y. We're done with that. And 54 and 55, simplify the distance. Difference, you just need to combine like terms. I'll do this one um, with a longer method, but a way that other people like. If you remember when you subtract these, you can change it to addition, which is whole lot easier than subtraction, but you should have to change the sign on each of the um, terms in the second polynomial. So notice that 10, n to the fourth became negative, n to the third became negative. Now you just combine like terms. So 17 n to the fourth plus negative 10 n to the fourth, that makes 7 n to the fourth. 2 n to the third minus 1 n to the third would be 1 n to the third or just plus n to the third, and I'm done. Now you don't have to do that, but you have to be very careful when you're doing this. So 24x to the fifth minus 9x to the fifth. You have to say that minus if you're going to do it without changing the plus. So 24 minus 9 is 15x to the fifth. 12x minus 11, oh, those are not like terms. I cannot do that. But I need to have the x squared term come next because that's standard form. So 0x squared, so there are no x squareds over here, minus 11x squared. So 0 minus 11 is negative 11x squared. There's no other x's to go with it, so I'm just going to write plus 12x. Why is, it plus? Why is this one plus and this one minus? This one's in the second equation, your second polynomial. So if I would, like I did back here, switch all the signs, that would become negative. This doesn't switch, though, so that's why it stayed positive. And we're done with that one. Thank you.